Hey everybody, happy Wednesday, February 23rd. I don't have my glasses on so I can't see the calendar very good. Um, hope you're all doing well. I'm freezing. I'm freezing to death. I turned my little space heater off just so it wouldn't be rumbling in the background. <laughs> If you're here, say hello. I'd love to chat with you. Make sure my chat's open. There we go. Hi, Loopy. Clean my glasses a little bit. I have a great big scratch on these glasses. I need to go in and see if they can buff it out or get me, get me some new ones. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> um... Hope you're doing good, Loopy. Um, we're going to make a fun card today. I don't know that there's any news. Hi, Donna. Um, just the end of the month is coming up. So if you are interested in celebration, which is, I wanted to grab my Kellogg's anyway. Um, you can choose anything out of this little brochure with a uh, minimum purchase. If uh, you can just go on to um, leslie.stampinup.net or theplaidboodle.com and hit shop now, and there's a tab that will show you all the, the free stuff that you can earn. And that goes away on the 28th of the month. Um, I think that's all. So your free gift with purchase. Also, there's a joining um, incentive. When you join during celebration, you receive $125 worth of any product you choose for $99 uh, plus tax, free shipping, and during celebration you can add two more stamp sets to that. So um, I always tell um, people who are wanting to join to make their list and then choose their two most expensive stamp sets to add at the end. So that's the... That's the way to play the system, right? <laughs> um, today we're going to use a little bundle. So cute. Let me turn to the page and then I'll turn my camera around. It's a punch bundle. I always love a punch bundle. Um, here we go. Let's get rid of all of this. And I'll turn, hi Stacy, I'll turn my, um, <laughs> Stacy, um, this is not the place for the conversation, but my friends are, are messaging me that they hope you're okay. You guys ha have quite the thing going on up there. At least it's your country instead of our country. <laughs> it's usually our country that has the thing going on. You got that big thing going on up there in Canada. But my friends are worried about you, so I said, well, she's probably good, or I would hear about it, so Stacy is my sister, for you guys who don't know, who she lives up in Canada, so um, they've been in the news a little bit. Okay, this is the bundle we're going to use, the little Hello Ladybug, um, the punch, I love a punch, like I said, and it coordinates with this cute little stamp set. This is a um, clear stamp set because there's two-step stamping on a lot of this so it helps to have those photopolymer stamps when you're trying to um, do your stamp placement. But we're going to use it a little differently today. Stacy says we're fine. The media is blowing this out of proportion. It's basically over except for a few stragglers. Um, yeah, they always, the news always exploits um, things to ratings, I guess. But anyway, <laughs> I knew you were far enough away that you were good. You were good. Okay. This is what we're going to make. We're going to make little bees with those ladybugs. And we're going to use a couple of other new um, products. I should 
should have showed you that before um, I started. On page 40 of the Spring Mini, there are the amazing um, thanks dies. Um, so you've got thanks, you are an amazing. So you can, thanks, you are amazing, thank you. And we are using it together with our um, playful al alphabet dies to say, be amazing you. And then I put these little bees on here and I'm gonna show you how to do that. And I used the um, new, let me get the name right. Let me get the name right. Hive 3D embossing folder. So you've got to use the Hive embossing folder when you're making a card about bees. So, and it's also a slimline card. Now, if you follow um, Mary Gun Fun on Craft Roulette, I've been a guest stamper on her sh program a few times. She's on every Friday. On YouTube she goes live and it's a little kind of game show to make cards and she calls this a little chubby card it's an 8 by 8 piece of uh, cardstock scored at 4 I, I guess it's a fat slim line I don't know she calls it a little chubby <laughs> so I went by her measurements for my slim line it's not a true slim line, um, but it would fit in a business envelope. And then I did do some stamping on the inside. So we did a little bit of stamping. After I finished the front, I said, there's no stamping on this card. We have got to stamp. So I added um, my friend to the inside and the little, the little flowers. So I'm starting, like I said, with an eight by eight inch piece of, um, this is the Thick Whisper White that you guys know I like to use for my card bases. And then I've got a piece of Basic Black, and this measures seven and three quarters by three and three quarters. This is gonna be our first layer. Just had to have some black and white. That is all out. Oh, here we go had to have some black and white or black and yellow for bees, right? And we're going to just put that on there. And then for our um, little hive, our embossed layer, I've got a piece of, I think this is three and a half by seven and a half. Wouldn't that be right? Yes, that would be right. <laughs> I should never second guess myself. Okay, and I'm going to show you how I did this with a longer um, piece of cardstock. I forgot we were going to use our. Um, here it is. We were going to use our embossing machine, so I cleaned everything up. Okay, this is a 3D embossing machine, so if you have a, um, you'll have to figure out your um, your plates. The Stampin' Up! Cut and Emboss machine um, uses a special plate, plate number four with plate number one, to do the 3D embossing folders, but if you have a different brand, you'll have to, um, I want my hive to be straight. There we go. Oops. Yes, the Stampin' Up! Slimline envelopes are, I should order some. They do look beautiful. Okay, now I've got this little blip here at the end. 
and it's not going to show that much because this is a really busy pattern. Now you might have a pattern that's um, a little um, more precise that it would make a difference. So I would strategically place that somewhere where I might have a sentiment tag or you could wrap a ribbon around it. But um, you're going to see from this that it, it really didn't make a difference because I'm kind of lining it up, but it's not going to matter. If you look real hard, you can see where I did line it up, but I don't think you can notice it on my, my card where I did it. I could probably point it out to you <laughs> because I know where I did it. And now you know my secret. But I just slipped the little extra piece of cardstock right in there. And you can kind of tell because we know where it's at. But if you're just a person that's looking at it, you're not going to notice. Um, and I love this embossing folder because look at the other side. It's um, the debossed side, and this is the embossed side, or it's vice versa, versa versa. I'm just going to stick this on here, and I'm kind of letting the edges curl up. I kind of liked that look. kind of looks a little dimensional. And then for um, the B, like I said, I used um, the letters from the um, Playful Alphabet dies, and... Get them. I hope I haven't lost them because I'm going to be irritated if I have to. Oh, here they are. <laughs> I'm going to be irritated if I have to die cut them again. Okay, here's a little trick that I use. I used our um, adhesive sheets when I die cut these out so that they, it turns them into a sticker. But I'm going to line it up. You guys have seen me do this with the press and seal. But I'm going to show you a different way. I'm going to use my grid paper and line these up. And then I'm going to take a piece of washi tape and put that on there. You want to make sure they're on pretty good because, you know, washi tape isn't that sticky. And now I can pull the, um, the backing off. With my lovely fingernails. I'm going to hold that off a minute. I'm going to put my amazing on there first because I want it to be kind of in the center. So I use the dies. Um, the amazing thanks dies. And they have the background and the foreground. I love that. So, uh, just ripped my, I think we're okay. I accidentally took the back paper backing off of this one. I got ahead of myself. Fancy that. So they just stick right on here. Now this long one was a little tricky because it's sticking to my finger. It might have been easier with just some multi-purpose liquid glue or some fine tip glue. Because you don't want to tear them. Which I kind of did with my end when I tore it off the paper. I'm going to just 
get rid of that piece. Here we go. There we go. Isn't that cool? I, I love that, um, that it has the um, shadow in the background. And for some reason, I put paper backing on this one. I don't know that it was, or the, I used the adhesive sheets on the back of this one. I don't know that it was necessary, because I think I could have used my liquid glue on the back of that. All right, I'm going to put this kind of right in the middle. Right in the middle. There, now I can uh, place my um, B up here. So the washi tape look, works a lot like that uh, press and seal to get it all lined up the way you want it. I'm very gently taking it off. There we go. And then we're going to do the same thing with the U die. And once again, I have that um, adhesive sheet, so I'm going to just peel the backing off, the paper backing. And I've got it on this one too. So I'm going to put that right down here. There we go. Now we're going to fill in with our little bees. So I'm going to use my punch and some black cardstock. And I'm going to cut two of these little ladybugs out. And then I've cut six, um, probably over killed it on these strips. They're probably longer than they need to be. These are a quarter inch strips of bumblebee. I forgot to mention the yellow paper I'm using is bumblebee because when you're making a card about bumblebees, you have to use the bumblebee paper, right? I wanted three little, um, whoops, I'm gonna scooch that over. Yeah, I didn't need this many strips. I don't know how long these are. And I'm just kind of placing them on the body. Put a little too much glue on that one. I'm gonna let me take that glue off of there. It's gonna dry clear anyway. Now you can take your scissors and trim that off, or you can try and get it back in the um, punch. But I'm worried I'm gonna cut my antennas off. I did do that with this one. I I did re-punched it. You have to be real careful, but it is possible to do that. But I'm just going to use my paper snips.
There we go. Isn't that cute? They are one fourth inch strips, Donna. I wanted three little, if you wanted um, more than three stripes, you'd probably want to make them a little smaller. But I thought three was enough. <laughs> but these are quarter inch. I am planning my cards for my in-person class on March 24th, and I hope to have some information out to you soon. I'm kind of changing up the way I um, do things a little bit. If you were um, came to my classes two years ago, I can't believe it's been two years. Um, And I'm just trying to get my um, everything in order so that it makes sense. And But I think I'm going to use this bundle for one of my cards, maybe two of my cards, in that class. All right, there's the bees. Now, for the little wings, I went ahead and used some vellum just to make them kind of um, you know fly like <laughs> and I saw another Stampin Up demonstrator use vellum for her wings so I thought that was cute I'm not sure yeah there is a stamp for the wings and then I use my bone folder to kind of curl them up so they get a little dimension And I just put a tiny little bead of glue right here. And this punch is made so that it fits perfectly right around his little his little neck. I just realized that I'm not in the corner. Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh. In the chat, I can see, I guess it's you guys' profile photos, so I kind of know who's talking Well, your name is there as well, but, um, so that's kind of cool. Here we go. So cute. Oh yes, a little wink of Stella. Let's try it. Good idea, Donna. Do, do, do. That will make them glitter. Oh, you guys can't probably see it. If you had the gold wink of Stella, I'm not sure Stampin' Up! I think we just carry the clear now. Um, I don't know if you can see that. The gold would be pretty. But that makes them a little gossamer. They're a little shiny. I think you can kind of tell they're a little shiny. Good idea, Donna. Okay, and then I'm just going to take some um, of my Stampin' Dimensionals. Get my mess out of the way. You all should see my my craft room in here. It is it needs a good cleaning. You know how you get the paper scraps everywhere? I need a vacuum. I think if I did that it would be I would be happy. It's getting on my nerves. All right, that's the card front. And then for the inside of the card, I went ahead and used my friend and these little flowers. Nothing too fancy, but I thought Be Amazing You, my friend, was a good little 
um, sentiment. And I'm using the black memento for the My Friend. And for the little flowers, I'm using Bumblebee. And this little stamp really goes perfectly in the corner. Isn't that cute? I could probably go, go to town and uh, put one in all the corners. Oh, I've seen those, Loopy. Her daughter, Loopy's daughter, got a little table vacuum for Valentine gift. It's so cute in the shape of a ladybug. I've seen those. See, you need that for these little, these little things, <laughs> and the little uh, dimensional. These little things, the little papers that fall off of those. That's the card today, ladies. Isn't that fun? Um. You could probably make this card on just a regular A2 size, portrait size, to, to have room for the amazing. And um, it'd be really cute, too. I just thought I'd change it up a little bit. You guys might be getting bored. <laughs> and I wanted to do something a little different today. So this is what Mary Gunn would call a little chubby. <laughs> it's just an 8x8 piece of cardstock folded in half at four inches. So it's like a slim line, but I guess fatter and shorter. <laughs> kind of like me. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for joining me. Um, we'll be back Monday for Make It Monday. Um, I hope you have a great day. We're supposed to get some weather here. I haven't really kept up. I've been kind of leaving the news off. It's kind of not... Not good lately, so we might get snow tomorrow. We got snow yesterday. I was driving around in it, but it wasn't really anything. So it's February, so we should expect that, right? I will see you Monday. You guys have a great afternoon, and we will talk soon. Bye-bye.